Hi guys, what is spectrum? When you look at the rainbow, you will see a beautiful palette of colors, from violet across green to the red. Light and light colors are nothing more than a visible part of electromagnetic radiation which stretches from gamma to radio waves. The difference between light and other types of electromagnetic radiation is hidden only in the wavelength. When a physical quantity, for example voltage, is occupying a certain range of values determined by one of the properties of the physical quantity itself, for example frequency, that range of values is called a spectrum. Devices which can extract values of physical properties from certain spectrum are spectrum analyzers. Spectrum analyzers are all over electronics and electrical engineering. In fact, voltage signals often take form of complex waveforms which are hard to manipulate in designs and electronics development. It's a mathematical fact that we can represent a complex waveform as a sum of more simple ones and then use the range i spectrum of simple ones in our analysis. So, how does spectrum analyzer work? Let's look at one simple voltage signal Y of T. Our signal is represented with its amplitude A and frequency F. If we look at this signal through spectrum analyzer eyes, we will see something like this. Look carefully, you will see that now we don't have time on the graph and the x-axis represents the frequency. From that is obvious that spectrum analyzer is not interested in how amplitude of signal changes in respect to time, but it looks at the frequency and amplitude values of observed signal. That way of signal representation done by spectrum analyzer is called frequency domain analysis. Here we have two red pitayas. With first one, I am generating a complex voltage signal which is observed with another one. Let's check what we are generating with an oscilloscope. This is our voltage signal. Now we can ask ourselves, can this signal be represented as spectrum of simpler signals as we did in our first example? And if it can, what are the values of that voltage spectrum? To find out, Let's run our spectrum analyzer. I will set frequency range. So this is frequency and amplitude spectrum of our voltage signal. We can see that we have three spikes at three different frequencies. First spike has a biggest amplitude. Amplitude of the second one is about one third of the first spike and the last spike has lowest amplitude, about one-fifth of the first one. We also see that the highest spike has the lowest frequency and the other two have three and five times higher frequencies. Now we can try to get this complex signal from the spectrum, i.e. range, of the simple ones. How? Remember what we have seen on spectrum analyzer? We have seen three spikes with three different amplitudes and frequencies. And we also know that each continuous signal can be represented as a sum of the simple ones. So let's take our first spike with amplitude 1 and frequency f. Our spikes are in time domain represented with sign signals as is shown here. What happens when we add them up? See, we get our measured signal. This was a simple example on how we can observe the same signal in time and in frequency domains, and also example how we can use different approaches to understand signal properties. Well, I hope you liked it. Until the next video, check our web store and try out our applications. Enjoy!